Hello everybody, welcome to this week's math lesson. This whole week we are going to be focusing on patterns. Now this is something we did in the classroom a lot and something that I know you've been doing at home. I've been seeing some beautiful patterns in the past couple weeks where you used forks and spoons and cups and plates. So this week we're going to be doing a little bit differently with the patterns and I'm going to be showing you two different ways you can make the pattern because we have our simple A B patterns but you can also make it a little bit more challenging by doing other types of patterns too. So remember I'm going to go over the pattern lessons for the whole week, right? I'm going to do Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, and Friday but you don't have to do all of those in one day, remember. You do them on the day that it says on the schedule. So I hope that makes sense. And all, as always, feel free to reach out to me if you have any questions. Now, for Monday's assignment for today, you need to make a pattern using pennies and nickels. So I'm going to show you right here on the table. I have a bunch of different coins, and I'm going to make them into a pattern. So I'm going to start off by doing penny, nickel, penny, nickel, penny, nickel, right? Awesome. So that's one pattern. Another way you can do it is like this. You can maybe start off by doing penny, penny, nickel, penny, penny, nickel, penny, penny, nickel. See how that's a little bit more tricky? So I'm very excited to see the different patterns you can make using pennies and nickels. For Tuesday, your lesson is to make a pattern using two different colored circles, right? So you're going to need a piece of paper and then two different colored markers. And it doesn't have to be blue and red, it could be any color you like. So I'm going to get started, right? You can do it like this, you can do red circle, blue circle, red circle, blue circle, red circle. Make sense? Or you can also do it a tricky way too. You can do something like blue, blue, red, red, blue, blue, red, red, blue, blue, and then you do two more reds after that. See, so there's many different ways you can make a pattern, just like I did. So that's Tuesday's work. Now, for Thursday, it's something very similar to that, except your job is to make big circles and small circles. Sort of like how we do for graphics practice. So I'm going to take a whiteboard for this one. You can still use a paper for yours. And I'm going to go like this. I'm going to start off by doing a big circle, small circle, big circle, small circle, big circle, small circle. Right? Um, or you can make it challenging and do maybe small, small, big, 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 small, small, big, 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 be creative. And I'm sorry that these circles aren't the best looking. It's okay as long as you know you're trying, right? So that was Thursday. And then on Friday, it gets a little bit complicated. Your job is to make a growing pattern. So the instructions as it says on the schedule is to make a pattern using coins that grows. One coin, then two coins, and three coins. So I'm going to show you what that means because it is a little bit confusing. Right? So maybe I'll start off with one penny. And then I need to make it grow. So then maybe I'll do two nickels. And what comes after two? Three. So then maybe I'll take three dimes. One, two, three dimes. And then after that, I have to make it go to four. So maybe I'll take four quarters. You see how the pattern, you add one more every time. So that's your growing pattern. 
And that is a full week of our pattern lessons. So again, feel free to reach out if you have any questions, and I'm super excited to see the things that you can come up with. Have a nice day.